so um, let's see. I was asked recently how to do one of my dog eyes. Um, I did the nose video, which I will share a link to in the description below. Um, but as far as for an eye, um, I just wanted to do something really quick here for you guys to kind of see. Um, and you know, it's always going to depend on the type of a dog. Um, if their eyes are more droopy or focused, but in general, I think this will be kind of a, a good ex exploration. Um, let's see. Let me put a little bit like that. All right. So there's kind of a basis to go off of real quick. Um, which brush do I want to use? I use this one. Let's see here. So, to start off, um, I'm just going to do, let's see, a little bit of Windsor Newton Indigo with kind of a brown mixture. So, it's like this bluey, browny, purple kind of a deal that I'm just going to be going around base here and around the edges and again we're just kind of focusing on the eyes so I'm not too too concerned about anything else at the moment but it's always good to use the colors that are going to be going into the fur outside which in this puppy's case is a more of a brownish color, light brown, so throw in a little bit of ochre. So this looks nice. Yeah, that's just kind of the building up the base. I'm going to throw in some more indigo here. Like so. Okay. Um, one thing which you'll see as I kind of get into a little bit more, um, there's always a little bit of a shadow going up under the eye, and I just kind of like to pull it in from the outside a little bit, like that. Um, see, the reference I'm looking at has a little bit more indigo under here. In the eye itself, um, let's see, I'm going to start with my lightest base color, and in this case, I'm seeing kind of a yellow ochre underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw that in here. I actually don't even care if I get the center because the center is gonna be black. Probably could have left that white spot if you want to, um, to be more appropriate in the watercolor world, but um, I'll show you another way of doing it here because I'm uh, let's see this is kind of like a little bit of a raw umber I'm gonna throw that in on top like so next color I'm going to add in here. I think that's raw umber, raw sienna. I think this one's a burnt umber. It's the darker brown. I'm terrible at knowing what the colors are. The edges of the eye are always going to be a bit darker. And actually, this upper part here could even go 
go with a bit more I got a black here, so I'm gonna put the black down just a bit. Um, as this is kind of drawing, I'm going to pull back a little bit from the base. There's always a little bit more light in the bottom part of the eye and it's going to be darker on the upper. And as it's lighter, we're going to be dropping in a little bit of warmth. Um, this darker section up top could probably be a good amount darker. I'm going to throw some red, burgundy, brown. I have just a mixture of color there. Like so. You can see it's starting to bleed into down here. Um, that's not ideal, but it's also workable. You know, painting is a process of correcting the errors you create, so don't be afraid to make a mistake. Because it's all a process. The biggest thing is to keep going. A lot of times you can become discouraged with what you're looking at and um, don't let that happen to you. It happens to all of us. It happens to me. I was working on a painting the other day and I ended up ripping it up just because I really did not like it. And it was kind of therapeutic, but I don't recommend that as the healthy way of addressing it. But I am human and... Eh, I can deal with that fault. So, if it happens, forgive yourself, move on. Just throwing some more browns in here. Kind of building it up. A little bit of red. A lot of colors in an eye when you really get into it. So, I'm actually going to throw some cobalt blue in the darker portion of the eye. Um, if you look really close at an eye reflection in the dark section and the upper section, there's always a bit of blue. So I'm just going to throw that in real quick. Let it kind of work its way. And let's put some, I'll put the iris in at the moment. Uh, a 
that's drying, I'm going to add some more kind of textures out here. Against the eye. A little bit more. Blues and reds. Color is kind of this fluid thing, and you might find when you're looking at something, the color shifts a little on you. Um, and no, you're not going crazy. Uh, So there's kind of a little bit, and then I have some white here. It's a Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White, um, and I'm gonna water, water it down. You can use white gouache, you can use white watercolor, um, but you water it down. And in this instance, I'm gonna water it down a little bit because I know that this is a pretty concentrated white. And I'm just looking for this milkiness that kind of goes over and creates a little bit of kind of like a shine up on the top there. Draw a little bit more blue in. Guess in my reference, I'm seeing a bit more blue. Like this milky, bluish white. Um, and then with that, how do you like that? Concentrated white. So, um, if you want to get the wetness of the eye, um, there's always usually like a little bit underneath. Don't don't make like a big old thick line. The thinner you are, the more um, believable it becomes. Um, let's see, I'm gonna add a little bit more shading. And I'm gonna make it actually kind of like this little light gray blue. good to outline but you don't necessarily always want it around the entire eye because then you get kind of like this cartoony effect. So I've taken a little bit of black on the outside here, dark brown, and little bit of watered down cobalt just along the outer edge here. And you know this is being kind of 
exact, but I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys as much detail as possible so you can see how it's created. And again, this is a five by seven sheet of paper. I mean, the eye itself is a good portion of my hand. And so on a much smaller image, you use the same concept, but kind of tone it down a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this watered down white with some cobalt and just touch it up in there. And there. Um, there's a different thing. A little bit of lightness going around the eye. It's just kind of about placing color um, in the right shape. Um, let's see what else can I show if you want to you can kind of come back through with yellow but I'm kind of getting into a point of futzing about which is the point where you're supposed to stop so I'm probably going to stop here in just a quick second but in the eye itself you can do some detail if you want to That. And then Hoping. Hey. It's somebody helping. Somebody. Hope so. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm futzing. So, kind of all depends on where you want to go and what you want to do. Um, but I think I've reached the end of this tutorial for this purpose. So there's an eye. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.